In this video, let's have a fast look to the control panel. Well, uh, we have already played some sequence, so we have an idea of what is it going there, right? Here we have the, um, the shortcuts, is to say playlists that has a button, right? To access it fast and without troubles, right? For example, during the match, and in the during the match, you have all the sequences that will be played during the match. For example, you could have a first half, a second half, etc. Right? Here is the area of the quick actions. Here we can see all the playlists we have defined, even though they may not have a button, they will be always in the list, and when we select uh, one playlist, we see the sequences that are part of that playlist. Buttons for editing the sequences and playlist. A button for configuration of the brightness, right? The configuration buttons that while the system is playing, they are disabled unless we unlock it, right? Sorry unless we unlock it. And we have also the chance to pause the, the current video or just stop completely the rendering of videos, right? Here we have some other information. Here is the button to configure the network capabilities of the system. We will talk about it in a different video. Here we will open the user interface for querying uh, for Twitter messages and, uh, and images, right? Different video for it too. And here we have information about the connection to our Novastar controller. Here we have the advert that this is not in production. And here we have information about what is the active playlist, active sequence, and the time that the sequence uh, has been playing, right? Very simple. Oh yeah, I forgot about this button here. This button here, lightly, right? Uh, that is disabled during uh, the execution of a playlist and sequence will, sh will uh, grant us access to the statistics of usage of the application. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.